Hi everyone, Ms. Dolman and Lottie here. Today's lesson will focus on three physical states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. We think that this is a very solid lesson. Enjoy! Oh, hello there, Katya. Hello, Lottie. Today, let's talk about matter. Oh, nothing's the matter. I'm doing great. No, I'm talking about matter. Matter is everything around you. Even you are made up of different types of matter. Matter doesn't always have the same form. Solids like rocks and wood, liquids like water and milk, and gas like the oxygen we breathe are all examples of matter. Let's start with solids. These toys, rocks, and crayons are all solids. Solid is matter that has a definite shape. Let us take a closer look using our microscope. In solids, molecules are very close together. They vibrate very slowly. Let's look at liquids next. Water, this hand soap, and coffee are all examples of liquids. A liquid takes the shape of its container. Molecules in liquids are spread farther apart than in solids. They also have more movement. Is sand a liquid? It pours and takes the shape of its container. No. Sand or even salt can be poured because they have very small particles. If you look very closely with a hand lens or a microscope, you can see that sand is made up of very tiny pieces. Each little piece of sand is solid. Oh, well, happy birthday, Katya! It is not my birthday. Oh, quite right. Let's talk about gases next. Gases do not have a definite shape. They will completely fill a container. This balloon is closed up, so the gases can't escape. In gases, molecules are spread even farther apart and move quickly. Water can appear in these three states of matter. Oh, that sounds magical. It is not magic. It is science. Oh, quite right again. Then what are we waiting for? Ha 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 ha. ha. Ice is water's solid form. This is liquid water. It is wet and flows. Water, as a gas, is called water vapor. Water vapor is invisible, but is always there in the air around us. Katya, can matter change forms? Yes, scientists can predict, observe, and record changes in the state of matter. Let's look at some of the changes caused by heating or cooling. Melting is one way to change the state of matter. If we apply heat to these solid crayons, we can melt them into liquid. When solids are melted into a liquid, they no longer hold their shape. When going from a solid oops to a liquid, they may become slippery. Next, let's heat up this water. Before adding heat, the pan has about 2 inches of liquid water. Remember kids, don't ever work a stove without an adult. Stoves get very hot and can be dangerous. As the water becomes hotter, it turns from a liquid state into its gaseous state, water vapor. Evaporation is the change from liquid water to water vapor. When we measure the amount of liquid that is left after evaporation, the pan now holds about half an inch of water. Oh my, is that water gone forever? Condensation is the opposite of evaporation. Condensation is the process of a vapor or gas turning into a liquid. See those water droplets? Those were caused by the water vapor hitting the lid. Just like heat can change matter's form, so can cold. The lid is cold enough to turn the water vapor back into liquid form. If you get liquid water cold enough, you will be able to freeze it into ice. Freezing is the process of a liquid turning into a solid when the temperature reaches its freezing point. Say freeze! Freeze! Did you learn a lot about different states of matter and molecules? Uh, more like molecule! Ha! Ha ha! ha, ha. Whether you are studying solid, liquids, or gas, it all really matters.